we're live. It's Simon Michael. Um, yes, well, so we could be doing a sort of pairing, although, I'm, well, partly because I did two premium plus pairings uh, on Sunday, and it was generally, generally busy. I'm, um, I'm just catching up with my brain. Um, yes, and I have actually, I've kind of reviewed the PRs. I guess what I'm just doing now is I'm just trying to get on top of my, so I have this list thing here that I call my action plan. Um, and at the beginning of the week, I nominally try to sort that out. So uh, I'm working out what's the, pri the priorities for the week. So I've just got this little chunk here. This is like stuff that I did last week. And uh, what I then do is, I mean, the, the sort of the action list all kind of goes on and it's like, Ooh. but then you can actually see here, like this is all the stuff here we go, that I was doing in the previous previous weeks, and there are, you know, very old old things there with Charles and Free Ranger that that kind of have got to the point where they could be deleted. Um, that was from last week. Let's just take that. That's like I'm also you know trying to do like marketing the um, uh, Agile Ventures itself and this that and the other. Anyway, so I mean, the, the 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 morning consists of you know I, I write a blog, I put that into blog drafts, I kind of do a minimal push out of the previous blog uh, that I wrote on Friday. Um, what I did, I did manage to do this morning was I reviewed um, a PR from Susanna on SHF and from Matt on Redeemify, and that was done. Um, what I also had there that I was sort of working towards was this. So I, one of the premium pair, premium plus pairings I did was with, over the weekend was with um, Adrian. Um, and he's working on a React front end for this. So he's got a PR here um, blah, 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 that does, I'm not sure. Um, partly because I worked with him yesterday. You know, um, I'm kind of like, this, is, this isn't critical. And, uh, or at least, you know, I've got the, the commitment that I make to the premium people is that they get, they get um, uh, a review within two working days. Excluding weekends, and uh, JP has said that he'll. He, he was asking if he could have a look at this. I guess he hasn't. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Have I broken that thing? Something else? Uh, and, and then Matt Lindsay is asking me questions, and he says he's interested in getting involved in website one. Uh, uh, issues. <coughs> Mm. Matt's on, and then Matt's asking about this thing. Um, I mean, he, he's saying he's found like an old ticket in the thing, and he said, "This is like, what is this to support the Twitter handle for the hours of time?" Sort of, I would like to have access to our users' Twitter names. Uh, -la 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 -la. Who says this? This is Matt. Matt is. Oh, I've just upgrade, upgraded my. Um, Slack client on OSX as well, which seems a bit zippier. Um, we don't uh, write even keep Twitter names per se. No, we don't. And but there's a, there's a story for adding them. I think it was in the old pivotal track of website one that he's somehow interested in working on. Um, I'll just say uh, Matt. Uh, yes, it's like only the view uh, or show page for projects needs that update about a little tracker uh, uh, perhaps uh, you can add a UX bug um, regarding Twitter handle um, we could migrate but uh, as we discussed um, uh, have you reviewed the waffle uh, board first? Uh, ideally, we clear ready before adding new tickets. Um, I was also going to mention uh, there's a high priority support uh, deleting users. Uh, in paranoid fashion. 
Oh, uh, Matt Lindsay is a premium. He's face to face uh, level, and I've, I've been doing training sessions with him on Redeemify. Redeemify is slightly blocked. He's also uh, we've got this idea that Redeemify would provide uh, like via API tokens to AV premium users for like extra bundles of fun stuff that they were getting along with their right. um, their thing. Uh, I've also just created. Um, I, I renamed the Agile Ventures Premium to Agile Ventures Mentors. Well, it hasn't completely updated. Wait a sec. Agile Ventures, well, Agile Ventures Premium twice there, and I've actually lost the Agile Ventures Mentors thing. I did try and rename that. Can I? How do I delete that? I just like leave this. Sign out of Agile Ventures Premium. I don't quite want to do that. It's weird. Anyway, um, because we're we're sort of losing Slack history and stuff. For the Android is premium in these private channels, and it seems like uh, we should definitely have like there's no, I don't think there's any reason not to have um, separate channels, um, sort of separate team things, which will have their own uh, history of stuff. Uh, oh dear! Now that looks that looks to me like I've somehow managed to blow away. The Agile Ventures. Are you still logged into the Agile Ventures Premium? Yes, uh, I got a message that said, "For you, you said you renamed the Slack AV Mentors." Right, and, and and can you still see the history of the environment as AV Mentors? I mean, I still see general and stuff. Right, but like you can see, like. Uh... <clears throat> I'm just going to sign out of those two on my. It's weird. And I can post it in the core team. Okay, so you can see. Oh well, that's. I'm glad that still exists for somebody. Uh, I mean, it's partly I just upgraded the Slack client as well. Um, uh, so, so this, this is. I mean, if we come back to the thing, I mean, I, I've I've got this for um, Adrian. And I can easily do that later. For Project Scope, there's updates from John on sort of an ongoing. No, not Project Scope. I can sync you uh, together if you want a review. Oh yeah, we 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 certainly could if you're interested. I know a little bit about React, but look at looking at that. Yeah, I mean, almost the priority for me is just to work out is there is there other stuff that's going on that I like I'm, like going to slip and miss. Um, there's the local sport PR from John. Uh, which I've given people before. There's another round of doing stuff on that. that, that that's I think that can wait till tomorrow as well. Um, there's stuff from the Project Scope folks, um, which they don't have, you know, a premium stuff. So it's not. That would also be something to look at. Um, I've got a series of things related to um, kind of sponsors and possibilities. Um, Road climate have expressed an interest. I'm doing stuff with Hack Reactor with other um, other people. Uh, I guess actually, in some ways, the thing that, that um, I'm thinking is is perhaps highest priority is actually deploying an instance of local support to Dre. Um, okay. Uh, because that that's something that if I don't if I don't focus on doing, it won't get done. And they're really keen to like. I think from Dre's point of view, they they need to see. So, say again? They want you to try it to put some app on there. Yeah, and we've got the, um, yeah. uh, what was it? We've got the. Um, they want you to try to put some real app on their system. Yes, yes. I mean, we've, and we've got the async voter, but it's sort of, you know, it's like an in progress. It'll take a layer of too hot. Um, so that's, yeah, that would, that would, might be the, the good thing to give myself. I'll take some headphones off. Um, yeah, I mean, also, a Ashley has given us all of this uh, stuff. She's done some pull requests and comments on comments and so on. But there's, there's, there's so much text that I don't know that I can necessarily take it in at the moment. Um, I, I feel like, based on that discussion we were having last week, there's this probably there's this important step where we have the oh god, what is it? Like when you actually sign in, rather than in particularly it prompting you to um, uh, god, what is it? Um, yeah, that's the, the, the <coughs> profile. 
it it um it should sort of prompt you for activities that you can take within the system. Um, so do, where, where does that actually even exist? Finding path. Uh, is it even called prompt? We, I have. I don't know where. We're, I guess is there some kind of after login hook that we've got that's uh, store location. Check privilege after sign in path. Uh, there must be some kind of is view application view. I don't even remember what we we see it when we test on the um. Yeah. Can you think of any of the words that ex even exist in that uh thing? It's up. It's update your profile, kind of something like that. When I have to start, let me say. Uh, Start my server. One second. Mm. Let's start. Oh, what's going on? Log in GitHub. What is the, oh, I need to sign it with the random guy. Where's the random user, yeah. What's his name? Random at random.com. Random at random.com. Mm -hmm. And it's ASDF1234. No, I thought it was random random was the password. Random random. Uh, invalid. Ballot. Mm. I guess it's because that doesn't actually exist. Yeah, if you just run rate db seed. Um, now the funny thing is that what I'm experiencing now is right. having. Go, ahead. Oh, go on, you focus on your thing. Sorry. Are you trying to sign in or? I'm trying to sign in to. Sorry, I'm trying to do this, um, the Slack thing. It see, seems to me like. <sighs> I've renamed it Mentors, and then I recreated something else called Premium, and it's now, when I try and sign into one, it's like forcing me to go back to the other one. So I can't get back, I can't get into the um, Agile Ventures Mentors. So I might need you to invite me in there or something. But uh, sorry, I'm, I'm uh... Oof. I know I'm task switching terribly. And I'm, oh, what the hell is... Maybe there's a. Uh, what's it? Do we have something? We have a users sign up feature. And it's, and it's the sign in that sometimes says. Profile feature. Password reset, profile privacy, sign in, sign out, user bio, and user, user management, user videos, user status feature tab, sidebar scroll. Ah, remind complete profile. Here we go. Found it. Um, oh, it's the continue using the site is the critical, is the thing. So here we go. Where is this? Require user's profile. Where does that even exist? Uh, 
have you you've um, have you gone away in disgust of my awful task switching? No, I'm just looking at stuff. Yeah, I don't think it actually creates that random guy anymore, does it? Maybe it does. I don't know. Or maybe I just got the password is PW. It says. Oh really? Really? That's not even a valid password, is it? Oh. Use layer. I mean, I guess if you go into the back end and say, oh, well, it won't let me know what the password actually is. Yeah. Well, don't, don't worry. I mean, I, I, I found here, like, effectively, the, the thing we've got this. What do I just do there? We've oh, got random, random. That's, I mean, that should have worked. I don't know. Yeah. No, maybe there was just like a, a, a typo somewhere. Uh, but anyway, so I found this. We've got this require users profile, which basically like does this. We've noticed your profile is incomplete. So the, the, uh, there. I guess the, the things on my mind is like, one, I, th I think Ashley's talking a lot of sense about the, the top level aspects of the funnel. Um, my kind of do things rather than plan things says, oh, right, the critical change we could, and we, you and I were started talking about this, is just, you know, it have a, the call to action rather than being the call to action, oh, you know, you know could, you, could you update your profile? The call to action could be, oh, have you, have you considered, um, you know, voting on a story or whatever? Um, the other thing I know is that thing that you were suggesting to me about identifying premium potential premium users and making suggestions. LinkedIn did that to me the other day, actually, because I've been using LinkedIn more recently. And then I had a message, probably automated from them, but it said it come from a person saying, "Oh, um, you know, thanks for using uh, LinkedIn a lot recently. That's really cool. Uh, would you, you know, how about a free month's trial of our premium?" Uh -huh. so that was, you know, exactly that, which is the kind the kind of thing. That you know, when we're at some scale, uh, that could be very useful. Um, so, and what's happened to me here? C could you try and invite me into the Agile Ventures m mentors group, or just like message me in that environment, like DM me in that environment? I thought I was being really clever there to. Um, Rename one and then send you a message. Right. You're not signed down. No. I mean, I've got I've got this new I've got this new one. <coughs> oh mess. Uh, I've got this new one here. I'm in this. This is calling itself Agile Ventures Premium. That's fine. I've got, then got a second one here that I can't seem to get rid of. <laughs> um, uh. <coughs> It says Agile Ventures Mentors dot Slack. Yeah, see, if I try and come here and sign into an additional team, and if I do here Agile Ventures uh, Mentors here, and I do continue, it signs me into like then this one, and it signs me into Agile Ventures Premium. Oh. And I end up with two premium things, and I can't get into Agile Ventures mentors. I think the, the the key thing there is I should just email the Slack support because they're pretty good, and say, uh, right, uh, we've got some Slack support people support at Slack. Yeah. Anyway, I I know we're like just sort of flopping around here. Um, we should have time after the scrum to actually make some sensible progress here on different things. Customer support. What? Is that in the Slack directory? Uh, Slack help center. Can I just go to some, send something too soon? No, 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 ready to learn browser. I don't want to browse the articles, but to contact us. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Um, I just renamed Slack instances and am locked out of Agile Ventures. Mentors, uh, hi Slack. I just renamed our instance Agile Ventures. It's a premium. Uh, Two agile ventures. What do I do? Mentors. 
and then recreated uh, a new instance called Agile Ventures Premium. Uh, however, I can now no longer uh, access is it Agile Ventures Mem Mem Mentors. And is, uh, and keep getting redirected to uh, Azure Ventures Premium. Can you help? Thanks, Sam. Ah. Okay. Right. Just to put that away. What am I like? Um, uh, I think good to have votes. Uh, l let me start the bot. So Matt has entered a thing there that presumably we can find in Waffle if we reload this page. Um, uh, I'm not immediately seeing it. Gemfile add. Ah, okay, so he's already assigned. Okay, there it is. That's the one. Okay, so then I could fire up the bot, uh, which at the moment we would have to go and find. So this is one of the things that would could do with more automation. Uh, but I've got this my server JS, I've got my bot. So at the moment, like I need to hard code it and say do this, and then so this is, and I've got to do this to say this is. Uh, well, actually, let me copy the name of the ticket. So this could be improved by if I could just message the bot and say, you know, start with this and even maybe say which channel to do it in. Um, and I was also thinking that the, the updates here probably don't need this the start channel. They don't need the instructions again. That was kind of getting a bit overwhelming. Uh, and then I need to start the bot. Uh, and I need to be in the thing. So another thing to look into is uh, of node server JS. Uh, it's running. Bot is saved. Um, and so then I can come in here and do async bot uh, over here and say, uh, start vote. Work. Not. Mm, possibly because hmm? no. Hmm. We have a problem. Hmm. Notice RTM. So if I tell you, but start new vote. Ah. Start new vote. Ah, yeah. Right. Uh, uh, please um, DM the bot. And I've done uh, what, in particular, what I've done here. Oh, I'm quite pleased with. Is I've just updated it so that you see it doesn't actually unfurl the link like we've got. See if that works. Yes. Right. You've got the link directly to the thing, so the message itself is slimmer. Mm. Uh, I'm quite pleased with that. It's this is still like an awful spiky thing. Uh, so this thing's there. Uh, this is now minus am. Uh, this is um, use hyperlink and remove instructions. From update, and that uh, if we go to the async bot thing, which is actually uh, we've got a waffle not async voter. Uh, have I lifted in for sister vote into? Yeah, there we go. That fixes two. Um, so git push origin master. Really. I can't spell. Okay, you go. Um, should we just um, help Matt get this photo on by 
quickly telling them. This one. Uh, yep, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? So then we can go to the vote. I don't want you to see my vote because it's obviously highly confidential. What do I? Do? You just so you want to you want to go to the async voter like do a DM for the async voter and you say vote and then the number that you want like vote space number. Okay. I actually don't need the space. As, I think as long as it gets to get any message from you with a no, I think it doesn't need the vote actually. There we go. Whoa. So then I can tell then I can tell the bot. I just do what do I do? I say result. Oh, Woo. and that can be set. Uh, I'll ask Lindsay. Uh, can uh, please set the? Can you have uh, the locally. I have the what? What? what sorry? You have the you have bot the running locally. I do at the moment. Yes. Please set the size in waffle. Uh, and feel free to move to in progress uh, if you want to work on it. How does it know how to like contact you? How does it know how to contact me? In what sense? Like your IP. Uh, it has a token from Slack that I have set as an environment variable um, wow. here. And that token specifies our Slack instance. And more specifically than our Slack instance, it specifies this particular user in this Slack instance. Right. But how does, when, when you're, when async voter is pinged by Slack? When async voter is pinged by Slack. When I send async voter a message in Slack. Oh, when, so when you, when you send it a DM, like you, when you send a DM to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, basically, it then it's it's got it's maintaining an open WebSocket, okay. so it that will come back over the WebSocket, and then um, it's sort of bas this is using so basically you're authenticated like that app is authenticated as a sync voter exactly bot member or whatever yes, and it's it has an open line basically in that it does it okay. does um, so we've kind of got. And then there's a question mark there about whether we can run that on Dree or Heroku and not and like. How did you start it? How did I start the bot? I mean, how did you start the vote? How did I start the vote? So I, I manually started the vote here by telling the async voting bot this, this thing. I, basically, it's this semi automated approach that I'm talking about. Like, I, I, it would be great okay. ultimately okay. Okay. for it to, you know, actually take the initiative and did start. Did you put it in the channel? I added the async voter to the channel. We can invite the async voter into any channel. So, and... but if there were multiple, yes. if there were multiple channels using it, they would stomp on each other. Right? They now. would at the moment. Yes. yes. I'm gonna go get a couple. Sure. Uh, okay. So we've started that. I can. I'm gonna shut down the bot now. Uh, ooh. Should only base. Ah. I hate that. Okay. All right, Lamar. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so we are all right, and the bot. Where is the bot? The bot is here. So let's shut down the bot. Or the bot. OK. Uh, right. So going back to my list of things, things. Um, the right. So the other thing that I was thinking of doing. Uh, which I've forgotten about. No, it is here. I was going to add the additional here. We've got another async 
uh, UI body thing, async photo UI. Um, and so now that's added uh, in there. And I'm going to tell, uh, I'm going to tell Rao about it. And well, I added, oh, uh, this, I added this uh, to Waffle. Uh, I was trying to work out what he was. As more than said, the admission so far, we're not taking into account multiple users voting, so I need to find some way to ensure that one person can vote on a particular story in the final vote and average overalls and votes. You may have already noted that there's no test for this. I'm still going to react to it. Okay. Um, right. So, uh, I'm going to say thanks. Adrian uh, will take a more detailed pass soon. One thing uh, is, can we have a, a ticket that uh, this PR is addressing? Him. Um, I've added this project to uh, our waffle board. Um, Um, I guess there's, I mean, this is sort of a spike. What he's doing here, story items, he's got to send votes. Um, uh, uh, ideally, uh, we'd um, start tracking up issues um, in this project, like um, uh, as a user, as, as a <coughs> voter to register my vote. Find like to be able to submit a vote on a story. I mean, this is one of the can to um, help move the forward as a developer. Going back on this, um, and then uh, in the PR description for any of the Git comments, we'd have, um, like, I have to say it's in the PR description, because I'm not sure if it actually works outside of that. We'd have uh, fixes, uh, oh gosh, what is this? Fixes to um, then links. Uh, to makes that all look nice in the board. Okay. Um, he's updating the bindings, he's showing all the stories. Um, oh, we're doing async voter now? Okay. Oh, uh, well, I was just sort of, I was, right. kind of, I was just sort of, I was actually telling Adrian about, ha you know, having an issue uh, and being able to link it up. And I think I, uh, and yeah, I mean, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a deeper thing to dive into and lower priority than the, the Dree thing right this second. Uh, so the vote is completed. Matt Lindsay is sorted out. Um, yeah. So, so the, 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 the Dree thing, uh, we've got like 10 minutes before the stand up. Um, I think even there's just like if I even just kind of get started on it, uh, that's going to be a big, big right. help. So we've got this three push thing here. Uh, getting started. They've also got this process of see what what, and so it have to be Rails Postgre 
here. Uh, and so I'd be following this. They've got some mechanism which they have told me about for we can just sort of like specify any um, like that that this they've got this mechanism for like giving out random app names. But I think we can in, pr in principle we can we could be doing something like this. Like I can just go to local support. Uh huh. Uh, like window look support um, over here. Get remote. and if I do this, so I could do something where I called it like dre develop. I just want to have a develop thing there, and then I could actually call this like local support develop. And I've noticed that actually, like they they had the, one of the things that they were originally talking about that I thought was quite attractive. Was the idea that you could just pre put master or branch name dot at the beginning of their um, thing in order to access all the different branches? Right. Actually, though, because they seem to share environment configs, it's actually pretty dangerous. Like you could end up running your develop stuff; it would run with your um, oh god, what's it called? Your production database. So that would not be good. And so I'm going to be talking about that, but. Uh, I think in principle, can I just do that? And then, having done that, I guess if I then get checkout develop, I don't want to set that as upstream, but so, so git push re develop. I just do this. And that would put the whole code on there. I mean, it would all like fail. Probably because it yeah, might have a database. Yeah. To, uh, um, go on. I wonder if it'll understand the build packs because I think there's some. Right. There's a lot of stuff, isn't there? Yeah. Anyway, so then it's busy doing that for a while. Yeah. I mean, there's like, it needs to run. I mean, th they do have like support for um, both node and, and node and Rails. But yeah. Like, was, uh, I wonder how, like, how do their build packs work? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, but both the Node and uh, Rails things have just sort of worked out of the box with them previously. Right, but those were with simple apps, right? The they were simple apps, yes. Yeah. Everything that I've used with them so far has been, oh, look, and it's detected the Heroku build back. OK. I wonder if build pack is a technology that is independent of Heroku, possibly. Maybe. And then it's detected. It's detected the Ruby build back as well. I mean, maybe they understood. Like, I think there's like a a setting you can set that Heroku tells you to set. Mm. Uh, not, but like actually in the app in the repo. Right. It's like some kind of. May I say? So I guess I wonder if build packs is, is say like, like so. They got build packs, but for some reason, I think Heroku itself doesn't respect that. I don't mm -hmm. know, weird. like when I was doing it with website one, it didn't seem like it. Right, the build packs file, but they are, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. <coughs> but I, I just wanted to. I mean, I'd always associated build packs with with Heroku, but I see that Cloud Foundry also has built has uh, uh, build packs. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, I wonder if um, and it doesn't the build build pack doesn't exist in. Wikipedia? No, as a separate en entity. Um, I wonder if it's something that is a, is a standard that. So, Heroku also provides custom build packs. Um, I, I wonder if that's a standard that Heroku developed that other people like, for example, Cloud Foundry have um, have have like standardized on, or where that comes from. Oh. Um, but so yeah, so I would presume we get some error here. Okay, so then there's like there's basically a set of things that we need um, in terms of environment variables for it to work uh -huh. um, yeah. that we can. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, so those will need to be set individually for this endpoint to work. So I guess I would attempt to go to oh, it's RCN, isn't it? RCN develop. <laughs> Look at the set of things. It also almost feels like we we kind of need 
a deployment. I mean, I guess I guess are we, are we using Figaro on this project. I've, I've, Figaro has this nice mechanism specifically for putting the environment variables on. What the fuck? What it's called now? Yeah, Heroku. This is specifically complaining about the device secret key. Um, I wonder if we can just use rake secret to generate that. Um, then I have to remember the mechanism for putting environment variables into the system. Uh, set the database. So we've got we've got this mechanism here of we need that we need to SSH and then we do like configure environment there like this. This is the mechanism. So if I go like there, they've also started like they developed their own. They've got a little hacky CLI. So if we wanted to set, um, what is it specifically? The device secret key. As this is one of the situations here, we could go through and encounter each failure, or we could try and anticipate each of the disparate failures to see whether it works or not. It, it's interesting. They have this mechanism where basically, if we push to the to an endpoint. It automatically creates an app of that name and then gives me permission to use it. I mean, we would also need to, they say that they're working on uh, team support for that. Um, but so then, I guess here, I mean, I'll just run this. I presume Rake Secret will do, do me a secret that will work reasonably well for that. This is just any device. What's it? Uh, okay. Uh, mm, control A master or developer. Hmm. Ah, it's now telling me it can't resolve the name. Uh, okay, it just needs the. This okay. The initial creation had to have this code dot git thing. On the end of it, whereas this is just going to push dreeapp.co. Yeah. So the, the other right. So that, and I guess there. So then, in order to do the redeploy, to try the. I, I guess I can't. I now can't do here. Um, git push. It's like dree develop, develop. Um, Oh, I can. Let's let me do it again. OK. Um, well, I'll leave it there. It's time for the Scrum. Um, apologies for just like general disorientation. This is the uh, price of working in the weekend. My brain doesn't work on Monday. Um, I guess I'll see you in the, the Scrum, and then maybe we can have a more coordinated session. Did that, uh, where did you end up with, with us? Uh, it's now just pu it's pushing up again. It's trying to do the redeploy, uh, given that I've set, set the device secret key as the environment variable. Yeah. So we'll see what next issue it gets onto. Cool. All right. See you in the scrum.